What role does the royal family play in global political issues? This question has come to the forefront recently with Prince William's statement on the Israel-Gaza conflict. The Prince's words were shared during a visit to the British Red Cross headquarters in London, where he was briefed on the organization's efforts in Israel and Palestine. His statement, characterized by a level of empathy and concern for human suffering, was a notable departure from traditional royal diplomacy. What's more, this statement was released independently of government vetting, suggesting a new direction in Kensington Palace's approach to handling international issues. This departure is intriguing, as the usual protocol would involve a more direct guidance and approval from governmental bodies on such sensitive matters. While Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's administration welcomed the Prince's statement, it's possible that this bold move stirred some discomfort behind the scenes. The reaction to Prince William's statement was a study in diplomatic nuance. Israeli officials, in response, were measured and careful, avoiding any direct criticism of the Prince's remarks. While they acknowledged the shared desire for an end to the hostilities, they were quick to emphasize the conditions necessary for peace from Israel's perspective. The use of the term naive by some sources to describe the Prince's comments, however, hinted at a level of disapproval, suggesting a possible misunderstanding of the complexities involved in the conflict. On the home front, figures like Nigel Farage and MP Andrew Percy were quick to voice their critique. They echoed the traditional expectation that members of the royal family should steer clear of taking public stances on divisive political issues, a position held by many who believe in the constitutional mandate of political neutrality for the monarchy. The Prince's intervention, while seen as bold and compassionate by some, has also sparked caution against the risks of royal engagement in politically contentious matters. The incident serves as a reminder of the delicate balance the royal family must navigate. In a world that's rapidly changing and evolving, the roles and responsibilities of modern royals are not immune from this transformation. Traditionally, the monarchy has been an institution of constitutional position, its members expected to remain neutral, refraining from expressing political stances. However, the lines of this expectation are blurring. Today, the royal family finds itself at an intersection of tradition and evolution. On one hand, they are expected to uphold the age-old norms of their constitutional position, maintaining a delicate balance of political neutrality. On the other hand, they are faced with the realities of a rapidly changing world, where global issues like the Israel-Gaza conflict demand attention and response. This tension between expectations and reality is a delicate dance, a balance that is becoming increasingly difficult to maintain. As global issues increasingly demand attention and response, even traditionally apolitical institutions like the monarchy are finding themselves in the spotlight.